Just three short weeks ago, the ESL1 took place in Frankfurt, featuring eight of the best teams from around the world. However, the players were not the only ones that got admiration from the crowd. Heroes and heroines straight out of Dota 2 were spotted all over the event. Cosplayers, a former Japanese trend that started in the 1990s, has long since reached the Western world. By bringing the virtual characters to life in the real world, cosplayers add a touch of class and immersion to esports competitions. It's no wonder that more and more cosplayers can be spotted at LAN events, and the ESL1 Frankfurt was no different. Who are the people that bring the heroes to life then? Hi, my name is Akula Teruyuki and I'm cosplaying Naga Siren in the set as Empress of the Sea. <laughs> Hello everyone, uh, my name is Marta. I'm cosplaying uh, as Crystal Maiden. I'm Roman Tanak. I'm Dragon Knight, Knight of the Burning Scale set. Hi everyone. Hi. <laughs> I am Jan Niklas and... I'm Elle. Uh, my name is Vicky, and I'm cosplaying Wind Ranger from Dota 2, the Falcon Side Armor set. I'm Noah, and I'm cosplaying as Juggernaut. Isabel, and I'm cosplaying Phantom Assassin uh, from Dota 2. Hi, my name is Sabrina. Um, I'm cosplaying as Draw Ranger. Uh, hello, uh, my name is uh, Fanny. I go by Margito Cosplay. Uh, I'm cosplaying as Lina from Dota 2, the Smoldering Journey set. Hi, I'm Rehab and I cosplay as Necrofrost, World of Car. Cosplay has become a big part of LAN events, and every visitor almost expects colourful figures strolling through the masses. But it is nothing that we can take for granted, because each cosplayer is usually there on his or her own. So what is their motivation to put in all their effort? Why do we cosplay? I think you should answer this. Okay. First of all, he cosplays because I dragged him to. Yes, <laughs> she's I right. I him. Normally he's not cosplaying at all. Uh, and I'm cosplaying because it's my hobby. I mean, other people have other hobbies and I have cosplaying, well so done. that's all I do. <laughs> I cosplay because uh, it's really funny. You meet a lot of people, you made a lot of friends all around the world. And I don't know, I really enjoy the cosplay. Because it's fun, it's fun at the event with the people, to see the reactions of the people. Why do you cosplay? Um, good question. I really love the look in the eyes of the fans. When, I, uh, when I'm standing right in front of a fan who recognizes my character, it's amazing. I cosplay because I like making costumes and it's fun just to building and like if you build, put a lot of time in your costume, you want to show it off. Will alone is not enough. Each and every cosplayer has to acquire skills to sew and stitch to glue and cobble. Numerous skills are required to craft the masterpieces, let alone planning it in the first place. So how do cosplayers learn to make their own costumes? By making costumes, it takes a lot of time and a lot of making wrongs before you can get it right, so it's fun. I mean, no, it's not fun when everything goes to hell and you want to throw everything away, uh, but just keep at it and, and try and it's Eventually it will work out. And I learned to make it, well, at first I just watched YouTube videos when other people made their cosplays and then I just sort of winged it and tried and see it, if it worked or failed. Well, not at all, I guess. It's just learning by doing, making a couple of costumes. Some people use tutorials and stuff, I don't really like to do that. So I just try and see what works. I learned to make my own costume in the internet, like watching videos on YouTube or reading some tutorials or just by try and error, so... Cosplay might be a hobby, but it's also hard work. Even if you possess the crafting skills, you still have to put in the hours. Take the time to make things the right way and fix what went wrong. And on top of all that, learning new skills along the way. How much time is put into the costume, we see? How long does it take to bring a game to life? How much time do you invest in the making of your costume? I spend way too much time on making costumes, um, which saddens my fiance. Um, he's the one who gets to <laughs> stick with all my mess. Um, a couple of hours a day, maybe some, like before a convention, if I have a deadline for costume, maybe four or five hours a day. I invest a lot of time into the cosplay, but it depends if I'm able to do it or not. Because, for example, this costume 
uh, was like two weeks uh, to make it because I don't have time, enough time to do it uh, in more time. But it's depending on the difficult of the cosplay and the time I have. Uh, to make a costume I need like a month, but sometimes I don't have uh, so much time, so I'm able to make a costume in two weeks. Well, this one, this one took like five months, but mostly it's around like two, three months. The time is not the only thing that goes into costumes. The materials for crafting might not seem much, but they pile up, especially if you're forced to go for more expensive materials. What only a few people might have thought about is the cumbersome reality for every cosplayer. It is a hobby that can easily swallow a small fortune. How much did it cost? More than you want to say. Yeah, it was really, really expensive, it's really. It's super expensive. Yeah. Don't do any other hobbies. If you start yeah. cosplaying, don't do anything else. Please. So, um, this costume actually cost around 500 euro. But it's due to the fact uh, that I had to try things out, like uh, with casting resin, I've never done this before, with LEDs. And so you can see it like here, on the gems. And yeah, that's why it was a bit more expensive. I think you could do this costume with 200 euros, more or less. <laughs> How much does the costume cost? Ooh, good question. I usually don't look at the build when I start buying cosplay materials, so I would guess this one is about 200 euros. Uh, and I think I probably paid for like 600 euros, around, give or take, 600 euros it costs to make this. With how popular cosplaying is, one might think that you can at least make it worth your while and that you could sustain yourself financially with it, at least to a certain degree. But unfortunately the price pulls at the conventions are slim and the competition is stiff. You don't go into cosplay for the money. You don't earn money with cosplay. You need to be like a really famous cosplayer to earn any money with it. Most contests don't have a lot of money in it, so it's a lot more about honor and glory of winning. So you don't go into cosplay competitions to win money because you will never it will never be worth it. The monetary prizes are not everything. Isn't it a thrill to go to a convention to meet new and amazing people? Cosplayers are the favourite heroes of the people come to life, and we often see them swarmed by fans asking for photographs. So how do fans treat them at the events? Well, at the events people treat me well, so uh, I think that that's cool. They always ask if they can take a picture, if they want to hug me, or if they want to just make a funny pose or a stupid face. So that everything's fine. Um, well, sometimes there are people who aren't nice, but it always happens. The fans are really nice, they always ask before they take a picture and they're really friendly and can not complain about this. There's a big range in how fans treat us. Some are very nice and respectful and appreciate cosplay. Many people don't really know what it takes, so they like touch things and wiggle things and see how it's attached and a lot of the stuff breaks. Uh, that's very frustrating actually. And also there's a lot of harassment of female cosplayers. In this costume, not so much obviously, but it happens a lot and it's very frustrating. Fans treat me most of the times really good. It's like always, oh, can I have a picture? Sometimes people come at you and say, oh, you look so great. I've never seen this cosplay before. And it's a really friendly and giving community. And that's why I want to give the fans back that I make good costumes and make a good show and just make good pictures that they can look at and be creative themselves. And yeah, it's a taking and given. It's beautiful here. <laughs> the admiration from their fans is a big part of what keeps cosplayers going. So be sure to show them some love when you're at your next event. And last but not least, we want to know what the cosplayers themselves want to say to their fans. What do you want to say to our fans? Thank you. Really, really, thank you. We appreciate all the, all the nice words, all every every laugh you share with us. It's it's really amazing for us. It's really, really amazing. Take a picture with me, and thank you, because it, this is why we're doing this, most of all, for you yes. guys to have fun with you guys, and yeah, it's great. Thank you. <laughs>
And I want to give a shout out to Grinch and Ente. I want to give a shout out to my mom because she's great and she helped us. Thank you, Mama. Um, well, uh, I don't really, I don't think I have fans, but uh, thank you a lot to all the people that uh, cheer if uh, I'm participating in any contest and to support me. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for following my Facebook and my social media. It's Tanakt Cosplay at Instagram and even on Facebook. What do, do, what do I want to say to my fans? Well, um, I hope that you're having fun and that uh, you enjoy those championships. I'm not sure if I have any fans at that, but uh, yeah, if you like my cosplay and appreciate that, then uh, that makes me very happy and glad and uh, yeah, keep supporting me. Thanks. What do you want to say to your fans? Um, I don't know if I really have that much fans. Just um, hi and give me a hug when I'm not really body painted. Well, I'm not sure if I have any fans, but if I do, I, I thank you for being my fan and uh, I hope I see you again at some other event. Well, I don't think I really have that much fans, but please like me on Facebook. It's Achilo to Yuki Cosplay. And yeah, if you want to do cosplay, do it. Just look at something, play a game, look at this costume and just do it. Just create things for yourself. It's amazing. And even presenting your costume to the crowd, it's a great feeling. <laughs> Thank you so much. <laughs>